and see a group that seemed like elders in bright white apparels, 24 in number as I counted with crowns of gold on their head, lined up with the poise of affluence and dignity of kings, as one so knew the importance and the privilege of the moment that they have been entrusted with. They looked far and above with the seeming gaze of eagles, happy, joyous but determined, looking towards a throne, the throne of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, ruler of all things and peoples from every nation, every tribe, every race, every nationality and every kingdom. They began to march in such symphonic rhythm that even the gazelle would have cast an envious admiration at them. They moved as one walking on the clouds or on the waves of the sea. I looked further and beheld the throne bright like light, surrounded by other thrones facing the throne of life. With the 24 elders now seated, I heard a rumbling and sound like thunder, and in front of the throne seven lambs representing the seven spirits of God blazing. I heard, Holy, Holy, Holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is to come. Then the twenty-four elders fell prostrate before the throne, with their faces down and their crowns, they threw at the feet of the throne and worshipped the age after age, living one, everlasting, ageless, and ancient of days. The rumbling and the sound of thunder continued, and multitudes upon multitudes, thousands upon thousands, and tens of thousands in their numbers began to sing and chant 